At this point, you know what a data lakehouse is and some of the reasons why organizations are adopting this architecture for their modern data stack, but you're likely wondering how it works. The answer is through the adoption of a modern table format, like Iceberg, Delta Lake, or Hudi. But what exactly is a table format? What does it do? And what is its role in the data lakehouse? If data lakehouses use modern table formats, what was used before? To answer these questions, we need to go back before Iceberg, Delta Lake, and Hudi to Hive. Hive was revolutionary in its day. It allowed users to interact with Hadoop clusters using a SQL-like interface known as HiveQL. This was a big improvement over the previous arrangements where Hadoop MapReduce jobs had to be written in Java directly. SQL is the language of choice for many data scientists, and the adoption of Hive allowed data lakes to be queried using this popular language. To make all of this possible, Hive established a number of new technologies and formats, among them the Hive server, the Hive Metastore, and the Hive table format. Let's look at each of them one by one. First, the Hive server. Hive is able to analyze data primarily using the Hive server. This service is the part of Hive that uses SQL input and compiles it into a series of MapReduce jobs using Java. Although impressive, this process is inherently slow. The translation of one command into another requires a large processing overhead. For this reason, Hive queries are often considered acceptable for large jobs, but particularly unsuitable for small, ad hoc queries. Additionally, Hive captures information about the dataset at the folder level, not the individual file or record level. This means that when a query needs to look for data in a folder, it must look through the entire folder to find the data it needs. This is highly inefficient and one of the main drawbacks for using Hive. Next up, the Hive Metastore. Hive stores metadata in a service known as the Hive Metastore. This separate subsystem ensures that Hive is able to locate the data held in the data lake. Importantly, because it is a separate system, the Hive Metastore is often used independently of the Hive server as a way of storing and organizing metadata. Such an approach is used in Starburst, for instance. Finally, the Hive table format. A table format specifies the way in which a schema is enacted when recorded as actual files. Data held in Hive is structured according to a Hive table format. Unfortunately, the Hive table format comes with some downsides. Hive tables cannot easily be updated. Version control and time travel capabilities are limited, and there's an absence of ACID compliance. These are serious disadvantages, particularly for those working in certain industries where ACID compliance is necessary. It's this aspect of Hive, the table format, that is overturned in the lake house. Because of this, the Hive table format is quickly becoming a legacy technology. The recent adoption of modern table formats like Iceberg, Delta Lake, and Hoodie offer new functionality and new features not available when using the original Hive table format. These advances are so significant that their introduction marks the departure of a data lake into a data lake house. So the next time you hear the term data lake house, remember that the modern table format drives this distinction and is helping the data lake to evolve.